this is a product called uh, StreamYard. So I came across this and uh, it's amazing. It's only like, it's, it's not that expensive, you know, to use and it allows me yeah. to do this, but it's quite easy for our guests to jump in and I can have up to 10 people in the room here, you know, up to 10 people in, in this conversation. So it's really, really good. You've grown to nearly eight teams already. And then now you're going to be able to, once you get to this size, it grows very quickly. And to be honest with you, you know, Emmett has incredible experience uh, and expertise in the problems that you're going to come up against. So he's going to be able to put, you know, help you to see the, the stumbling blocks that you might have in, in terms of um, people power, the people to help the systems and stuff like that. So he's an incredible person to have in your corner. My relationship with Emma started about 15 years ago with 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 um, a pub that I ran beside this, the Viva called Slattery's, um, and you know, you know, it's yeah. So so um, yeah. I turned that into a kind of like sports mecca, and I was always looking for for clubs to be involved with sponsor and stuff. So anyway, I ended up playing with with Emma, and it was um, it was brilliant. I think he's brilliant product, and we were only talking the other day about a girl. I remember one time like this this American girl was, I think she was working for Google and she was playing and she was incredible. And it was the first time that I had actually um, kind of come across a girl playing football at that stage. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't that uh, common. And yeah. it, for, 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 for us, for football enthusiasts like myself and, and Emma's, it's brilliant. Like, like I keep saying, I keep saying about football doubling in size. So I had the amazing experience of, doing a little bit of kind of video work with uh, one of the teams down at home farm, senior girls teams down there. And as I was filming the games, I was going around to, to some of the dads, you know, who were watching. Yeah. And these girls would have been 16 to 32, 30, you know, senior girls. Yeah. And it was fascinating because I went to a few games and I was talking to them and it was just lovely because for the first time I was seeing this relationship between a daughter and her father that was built yeah. on on football you know what i mean for, yeah. for such a long time it just didn't exist and no. there's something there's something magical in that there's something that men mm -hmm. it, it's like we're learning from that yeah. it's it's like we're limited I, I i'm not saying we're limited we can only learn a certain type of way and certain yeah. things and when you see a connection between a daughter and her dad and her father, you know, that's through sport. And I know Gaelic has been doing it for a long time, remember, but football hasn't been. It's a little, been a little bit slow. Um, so it is, it's wonderful. It's heartwarming to see this incredible thing. It's brilliant to see that football is doubling in size. And we know when I did, when I interviewed a lot of the girls and found out their background, um, a lot of girls like yourselves start late into the game, you know, and um, they're, I was trying to find out, you know, so many other girls, it's difficult because very often they're the only one that wants that wants to play. Like the, their friends didn't want to play. So they're yeah. the only one. So things I like... And um, I know it was DA, but I think soccer was the same. There was no actual ladies GAA team for me to play with. I actually, my mom actually dropped me down to Irish dancing. And she came back and I was playing football with the boys and I was like, Mom, I'm not going back to Irish dance and they've asked us to join the team. Um <laughs> so that's okay. you as an Irish dancer. Yeah. No, she still laughs to this day. Um, but yeah, that's where my journey started because there was nowhere for me to go. So I played with the boys, I think it was up to under eleven you could play. And then there was a team outside the parish that had it was camogie, so I, that was my only option to go and play camogie. Um, but I think that has, thankfully, that has changed now in sport. Yeah. You know, there's loads of little girls that are out playing sport, yeah. which is great to yeah. see. Yeah. And yeah. I just well, you said there now. Exactly. They wouldn't have been for me, particular in the area that I was in, like I'm talking about 20, 25, 30 years ago, you know, it wasn't the thing. Like that, I would have been like Amanda out on the road kicking a ball, and with the boys too, do you know. Um, yeah. And then when you don't get into it at an early enough age, I think if you're not into it by the time you hit a teenager, it's gone. Then for me, that's that's what happened to me because none of your friends are interested in it, and you just move on. Then do you know. 
Um, but yeah, now it's completely agree. different. It's completely different. It's amazing. It's brilliant. 